This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef Allison is back from Ends and Stems. Hey, what's in your fridge? Maybe some wilted greens? Don't throw them out. We are sharing a delicious recipe that you can use so no food goes to waste. It goes along with our contest. Welcome exactly. back. Thanks. Nice to see you. So remind folks at home about our contest that's going on. So it's a What's in Your Fridge with Chef Allison contest. It's sponsored by Gills. You can win a brand new refrigerator, mm -hmm. a cooking class with me, or a beautiful set of pots and pans. All you need to do is go to the contest page and enter your email address. Perfect. And yeah. that's it. We've been hyping it up for a couple of weeks now, and we have a delicious recipe because that fridge that you mentioned, um, there's all this new technology yes. to make sure your food lasts a little bit longer, yep. and you're going to show us a recipe to stretch our food out a bit more, too. Yep. So you can take some steps to save your greens and save the produce that you buy to make it last longer, but if you don't get to it and if it's starting to look a little bit sad, this recipe is going to show you how to save some greens, which is one of the most commonly wasted things. Mm -hmm. I talk to thousands of people about what goes to waste, yeah. and it's yeah. greens, Guilty. and also bread. So we're going to save a little bit of bread today, too. Okay, we're going to make a salad. What are some of the other ingredients that we're going to combine We here? have white beans and mushrooms, just to give it a little mm. more body. And this is a really Italian-style, potent salad. So we have oh, yeah. vinegar, anchovies, garlic, red chili peppers, and it's going to it's got a great kick. Yeah. But it balances really well with the greens and the buttery bread. Good, it's a good punch. A lot of flavor for you your Fat Tuesday so you can balance out all the indulgence that you're having today as well. We'll get cooking in just a bit. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Allison Munford's here from Ends and Stems, saving wilted greens with croutons. It's all part of the What's in Your Fridge contest, which is easy to find. You just go to, to our website, click under more. There's a contest page. You go there, you enter all your information. You could win a beautiful fridge um, and, and help save a lot of the stuff that's in your kitchen exactly. that you're, you're throwing away, such food waste, right? Right. That's what I'm doing. Lessons right. about how to reduce food waste, how to maximize what you buy well, and use it up. I am glad you're doing this, and especially today, because because yes. I, it, you know, it kills you all the time when you, you go in to the fridge and you have lettuce, you have some green yep. spinach or something, and you're taking it and you're like, well, maybe I didn't use it in time and I'm tossing it yep. in the garbage. It's a waste. I talk to thousands of people about what's left over in their fridge, right. what goes to waste most commonly, and two of the most common things are greens and bread. Right. So greens, I would also consider herbs, parsley yes. and things like that as well. So when you get them home, you can store them in a glass container like this with an ever so slightly damp paper towel. Yep. And then that will help preserve them a little bit. Okay. The fridge also does some of that work too. Like the fridge we're giving away right. has, you know, uh, drawers that will help the humidity, which is what's happening here. You can also do it in a Ziploc bag like this with the same towel. So, the is it better to take them out of the, the plastic bag like that they come in and put it in something like this yes. rather than doing that? Okay. It is better to sort of refresh it. Sometimes when you get it from the bag in the grocery store, it might have clumps of dirt or just sort of old water clinging right, to it. Inside of it. So you can get it fresh and clean and store it this way and okay. it will last a little bit longer. Got it. The fun part is that water is both helpful and the enemy of greens. It's a double edged so sword. So if you have too much water clinging to it, it'll make them wilt faster. Yeah. Or it could make them rot. Make it slimy. So you want to get just a little bit. Right. But if they're wilting and you're ready to eat them, you can chop them up and put them in a bowl of cold water like this. Yes. And this will actually refresh them a little bit. It'll help them get crispy. Oh, that's you can good do to this know. with carrots, celery, herbs. Really? Um, lots of vegetables that have a high water content, this will perk it back up. That's good to know. But we're going to go the opposite okay. and we're going to wilt them down. So okay. I have my uh, mushrooms and garlic going here and then we're going to take these just right out of the pan. You can hear them sizzle. So this is escarole, which is great I for like cooking, this. but you can also use chard or any sort of hearty bitter green. Right. And they're going to just wilt down a little bit. Oh, so good. Now, I heard you don't like anchovies. Uh, yeah, I'm not an anchovy guy. A lot of people say it, but what happens when you add anchovies to the pan is that they sort of melt into it. So you won't see it, you won't know it's there, but you could also use a dash of soy sauce and it will get the same salty depth of flavor. Yeah. And I, then you don't have to have an anchovy. Yeah, I think so that's whatever works for you. Okay, that's probably, that's, what I'm, I'm, yeah, that's probably what I do. I'm kind of a whip when it comes to that. And then we're gonna add a splash of vinegar. You could do a pinch of red pepper flake. Okay. And black pepper if you like it. If you have Parmesan, you could add that as well. Got it. So this, it kind of just, your greens are already wilting. Yes. So we're just gonna go with it and wilt them fully. And they taste amazing like this. The one problem with this dish is you wanna eat it right away. So you don't wanna be making this for a dinner party. It's not gonna hold up for a very long time. Then our other component over here is bread. And yeah, well, that happens all the time too. You buy a giant exactly. loaf of bread or something like uh, Italian bread yep. and it, and it, you don't have the whole thing. We're going to do a whole segment on bread ideas right. in two weeks. Sounds good. But for today, I want to show you the croutons. I like to tear them up. You add a little bit of butter, salt, olive oil, 
And see when you tear them. Oh, those look so good. You get, right? You get these beautiful craggy edges. Yeah, they taste amazing. And I also put some white beans on the plate just to make this a full meal. If you had little cubes of ham or turkey or even leftover chicken like we had last week, you right. could add this as well and make it a full salad here. My compliments, that is a good crouton. It's so good, it's right? It's buttery, yeah. it's salty, yeah. and crunchy. So I do sprinkle salt right over the top and right. butter and olive oil. And this just went in the convection oven at about 325 until they're golden that's, brown. That's a good one. Yeah. So you could do that with bread that's even three, four days old. It's a great thing to do with that. I, I would just eat, you just eat that. If you have Parmesan <laughs> cheese. <laughs> you know, I'm not serious. Like I could just like a little dip with this. It'd yeah. be perfect. I'll keep my greens, my okay, anchovies over here. Like you this. eat the bread. Right, sure. On Fat <laughs> we'll Tuesday. We'll call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, yeah. So you could do this with any mix of greens. Kale, chard. Um, like I said, this was escarole. You could do it with spinach, right. which I know a lot of people buy. Yeah, because spinach, and it will spinach really does fast. not, yeah, I was going to say, spinach doesn't hold right. up very well. Right. Like it's, it's there for a little bit and then it's, you know, right. it, it's all gone. So if you take your storage methods and you do it well, you know, you'll maybe buy yourself an extra day or so, but greens, berries, things like that, at a certain point, they just don't last long. Right, right. So it is one of the things that you want to buy and prioritize okay. using up. And get, get rid of it. And if you go back a couple weeks, we talked about cabbage, which does last for and weeks and weeks. And that was delicious with the other dish yeah. that you made. So Actually, it, you could do this with cabbage too, but it, if you want yeah. something longer lasting, do that rather than the, okay. the leafy it's green. It's all great information, and that way you don't, you're not throwing stuff away that's in your that's in your fridge and go to the contest page and enter to win that brand new refrigerator it's absolutely right. beautiful and you're also saving stuff because you're not throwing all that food away Elson thanks okay. so much for being here thanks for having you me. can find the recipe at roadshow.com